the simps. Uh, you're getting roasted. You're getting roasted this time in this video uh, because you're part of the problem, okay? Shuan Head made a new video. Oh, Shuan Head. Shuan Head made a new video called The Twitch Thought Epidemic and Its Consequences. Very cool. Excellent stuff. You know, it's pretty rare you see Shoe on Head throw women under the bus in th the title of her videos. So it's really nice to see a little switch up. She's usually such a man hater, you know. But uh, finally, some anti woman content from Shoe on Head. <laughs> oh, let's go. Very excited about how she's, she's not like other girls and she's a, a good little Catholic waifu now. So I made a video about how if you don't like seeing lewd things on Years ago, I made a video about how if you don't like seeing lewd things online, simply close your eyes and walk away. <coughs> but what happens when you do close your eyes and walk away, but no matter where you walk away to, you bump right back into it? Not true, actually. Uh, this is a thing that I believe people like Shoe on Head have made fun of asexuals for in the past. Uh, definitely in the uh, anti-feminism circles. This isn't from months ago, is it? It's from January 18th. This is, you know, fucking four days ago. Whether it's on Twitter, TikTok, or even Twitch. <laughs> That's just too damn loud, in my opinion. That's too damn loud. It is Chef John's, yeah. Dasani water. I'm gonna get canceled for this. All these years, and this is what's gonna get me canceled. I don't wanna hear it from any water snobs, okay? Where are my fellow Dasani heads at? <laughs> but anyway, do you like the red hair? No. Uh, I don't care about it. <laughs> A lot of the Twitch water. thoughts more... <laughs> that I'm gonna be talking about have red hair. I felt like I was missing out. Hello, ladies the and- Twitch thoughts. Love it. Let's just, let's shame. Gentlemen, today we are talking about the Twitch thought epidemic and its consequences, as well as only- Yeah, actually the lighting is pretty clashy. Fans right? culture and the de of- I promise this won't make sense. Maybe. Like all my videos are just kind of- The desexualization of sex? Messy brain vomit. I mean, I guess that's one way you could be sure I'm not plagiarizing. When I start to sound smart and make sense, that's a red flag. I figured out how to use chat GPT. So for those of you who are unaware, Twitch is a video game streaming huh. website, or at least it used to be, where people often- Oh! <laughs> uh, wow. It used to be. Back in my day. Stream themselves playing video games and interact with their viewers. But recently, in the past a few Destiny years, stream. it has been invaded by women. But not only women. Naked women. Now you might be asking, you might be asking, shoo, what is wrong with that? And normally, you'd be correct. But Twitch is a website for kids. Fuck you! It is not a website for kids. It's not that? It's never been that? Are there- are there literally- is there a single person under 19 in this chat? That would be fucking shocking. Like, <laughs> it's for kids because video games? Bruh, I hate to I hate to break it to you, but you're not a fucking kid anymore. Okay? We, we done been playing video games since since long, long ago. <laughs> Dude. This is crazy. This is actually crazy. Uh it, you can also set your streams to 18 plus for the record. Uh, these aren't for kids. This isn't more, any more for kids than fucking, like, Twitter is. And you see way worse shit on Twitter. You see dead kids on Twitter. There's no age gating that shit. YouTube. Is YouTube for kids? You know, YouTube has a kids section. Twitch isn't for kids. Dummy. I don't know a lot of kids that actually watch Twitch. I mean, maybe they watch, like, ninja streams or whatever. I don't think he streams here anymore. Like, they used to, maybe? Fortnite and whatnot. But YouTube gaming is where a lot of the kids are. For the record. Kick is where the kids go? Ooh, dude. Love that. Go to Kick and so they can watch some neo-Nazis uh, gamble on Russian websites. Fuck yeah, dude. Advertise for users 
12 and up and predominantly used uh -huh. by young boys. And the question on everyone's mind I is, really don't think that's are true. these evil Jezebels <laughs> preying on today's youth or are they simply the product of capitalism? Clever, sneaky women taking advantage of people living under a brutal system in order to selfishly make money. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Um, Before we get into this, uh, let's quickly get into today's sponsor. When you're during this video- She always lampshades. She always does that. That's the joke. I'm lampshading. All right. Uh, I'm skipping whatever this is. Thanks for not so skipping. <laughs> two weeks ago, this tweet showed up on my Twitter timeline. Mm -hmm. What's going on with Twitch? I don't care. I don't have any problem with this at all. I don't give a shit. Implied nudity is fine. I don't give a fuck. Uh, just... It makes such a big deal over women's bodies, and I just don't care. If you if you want to go watch the almost naked person all day and send your money to them, I don't care. It doesn't bother me. I, I just don't give a fuck. Sex is not that big of a deal, and this isn't showing any sex acts. This is just implied nudity. This is just someone being like, I might be naked, I might not be. It's what the fuck? Who gives a shit? This is like when they they censored Satan on the radio the other day. <laughs> or was it God or Jesus? Anyway, it's because Lil Nas took the name in vain, I think. It showed a streamer. Why is it selfish when women make money? Wearing no shirt, swinging her fun bags around slightly off camera every time she got a donation. Yeah, man, I don't give a fuck. I don't care. <laughs> I, I actually don't give a shit. I don't think this is sexually harmful to anybody. You could watch that and be like, what? The, I don't even know what's going on there. The only reason you think that's sexual, like the only reason it gets you going is because it's like vaguely sexual. Like, oh man, her literally just having big boobs is not like a crime. She just has big boobies, large titties. Who gives a shit? Not even on camera. They're off camera. It's implied nudity. I do not care. I'm fine if you draw the line at, like, fucking, you can't strip on Twitch. Fine with that. <laughs> I'm fine if you don't want to be like, okay, this isn't, like, you can't go full cam site. But you can do, like, I don't mind if you do lewd shit. I don't mind if you have sexually suggestive shit. I don't care. What Express yourself however you want. People get to choose what they watch. Your popularity is has to do with the appeal of it. And if you're, I mean, especially under capitalism. <laughs> especially under cap. I mean, this would be fine in the commune, obviously, as well. But, like, the incentive would be different, and maybe maybe she'd do it different and wouldn't do it at all, right? So, like, yeah, I don't care. This isn't unethical to have titties. So, for strictly Surprise. research purposes, I went to Twitch to see if this was real, and surely enough it was, and it wasn't just one streamer. It was many. It was multiple. It yeah. Don't care. Was the entire home page. And then when you went to click on one of the streams. Do I have a do I have a home page? Right, let's go to the Twitch home page. Uh my Twitch home page doesn't have any titty streamers on it. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't see any titties. I'm gonna I'm gonna scroll until I see some kind of titty situation. Nope. That's a DJ. These aren't titties. These are just... That's a VTuber. There's some titties, but that's a VTuber. Does this count? Does the VTubers count? Are we outraged about the VTubers with big titties? Uh, fully clothed people. I guess th this is a, a low view count fitness stream, which I have no problem with. Uh, I'm sure it's also kind of a thirst trap thing, but who cares? You can thirst over people. You can be attracted to people. Attraction isn't embarrassing. It's fine. Uh, we have cat ears. Oh, no. Very ooh, a off the shoulder. Very salacious. We should ban this. We should ban this immediately. I mean, shout out to any of these people if you want to watch them. But don't leave right now. Uh, uh, there we go. We have Frogan. Uh, we're actually doing um, bigger numbers. It just took. Why has no one sponsored me? The leftist anti-theist. How dare they? Thank you there. 
No verification needed, no login required, nothing. And the whole internet pretty much agreed this was insane. Not everyone, we will get to that, but most people agreed this was crossing a line. No, I don't care. Uh, I think the way that we talk about women's bodies is super gross. Like, you guys are inherently sinful to fucking peer at. I think it's weird. I think it's weird to continue to hypersexualize the female body. And, like, when you say that to someone like Shuan, she's like, what do you mean hypersexualize? She was short her titties! Ah, there was, there was sexual... Like, there was implied nudity. I don't consider that hypersexual... Hypersexualization, to me, is where you see someone... And you're thinking you're 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 going beyond you're 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 taking it and you're saying this is more sexual than uh, it actually Go. is, and it's clearly the case here. This is not anything bad. You need to log in for adult streams. Yeah, for for eighteen plus. Yeah, you absolutely have to. There are sites very near Twitch.com. Shit, you could probably type tit.com and it would turn i bet there's tits on there i'm not gonna do it i would never that's sinful because of all the outrage twitch changed the rules not to fix the website they changed the rules in order to save the twitch thoughts twitch actually doubled down and made it so twerking pole dancing and artistic nudity was allowed Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't care at all. Who gives a shit? Um, yeah. Grinding and pole dancing are now allowed without a label. Yeah, dude. I don't care. Uh, I understand if you, if you don't want them actually stripping on the pole as Twitch, but yeah, I mean like literally just performing on a pole. Now that's different. There we go. Yeah. Let's see you pole dance. shoot. Well, that sounds like, uh. I know you're issuing a challenge that she can't do, but now it sounds like now it sounds like you're just fishing. artistic nudity, right? So obviously, Twitch is run by simp's. We knew this anyway. Artistic nudity, so not like simp's. Uh, yeah, man. I, I mean, you can call it simping for just not. I don't know. It doesn't like move my needle at all. <laughs> that wasn't a euphemism, but it sounded like one. Uh, it doesn't move the needle for me if I see. Uh, I don't subscribe to any of those people. I don't go to Twitch to see that. I know other people do. I don't know. I don't know why you guys are all so weird. The fact that you're weird about sex makes this worse, right? If you guys just didn't give a fuck like me, this this these things wouldn't be problems. It it literally just wouldn't happen. Can you glue googly eyes onto your d you do like a little meat spin on camera with googly eye d and that would be considered cool and fine? Because uh, who cares? Sure. Cuz it's art, right Twitch? Is that too sexual? Are you turned on by that? Like, what the fuck? I actually don't think a meat spin with googly eyes would be too sexual. I, I don't care. I, I don't give a shit. That's so fucking wacky. If that turns you on, you're a weirdo. You're a little freak. That's fine. Yeah, I don't. I actually don't care. Uh, I'm fine if you have to mark that like 18 plus or whatever and you have to like say, okay, we got to log in and verify your age. I'm fine if you have some kind of measure against, you know, exposing kids to people doing meat spins. Uh, but I also don't think that when I saw crazy shit as a fucking 14 year old on the internet, uh, that it, that it burned my brain. Uh, you know, I, <laughs> I, I think there's, I think there's some extent to where that can happen for sure. But the occasional fucking, Oh, there's a dick. It, I have a dick. Uh, my friends have dicks. Uh, locker rooms happen. I saw my track coach's dick once. I saw my football coach's dick once. When we were running laps, he was taking a piss next to his truck, and he thought, I, I, I assume he thought I, he would finish the piss before the kids were there. He didn't finish the piss before the kids got there. And so we ran by and started laughing while he was pissing. And he goes, ah, it's just a dick. And that was in, like, seventh grade. And it was. It was just a dick. It was not sexual in any way. His new man was pissing. You know what I mean? He wasn't. I don't, I still don't to this day think that man was being inappropriate. It's just a dick. <laughs> I actually don't care. <laughs> I come from a small country town. Sometimes dudes piss outside. I don't care. <laughs> we were like 14. And we're like, but Eric, your dad's dick is out. He's pissing next to his truck. I don't know. It didn't, it didn't fuck me up. Sometimes you gotta piss. Chat, we piss. We're monkeys. We're fucking apes. I don't know. 
I'm so, who cares? Nudity is like, I understand. So there's a difference between sexuality and like fucking, right? There's you're, like doing sex acts is different from expressing sexuality. Okay. I, I don't mind if we have a, a delineation between like the PG 13 or even the, I mean, it's, it's technically it's actually R rated or close to R. And then we, we like, okay, well you gotta, we limit nudity, sexual acts, and you know, some other shit over towards the adult websites. Uh, but we keep, you know, I mean, I have no, I have no fucking, no problem with that. Prudish, prudish behavior. Why am I still doing this? So then VTubers, animated YouTubers, She's a boomer, took dude. advantage of this new artistic nudity rule mm -hmm. and started streaming their avatars butt-ass naked. It's okay. called hentai, and it's art. Only for them to get banned while the Twitch thoughts remain. Clearly, 2D girl discrimination. A few days later, Twitch finally banned the Twitch thoughts for a day. If you can't do the time, don't do the crime. Okay, time's up. This has been going on for a very long time. From hot tub streams to ASMR ear licking. Yeah, man, this doesn't get me going, but I have no fucking problem with it. At all. Don't care if you want to listen to her lick ears. That's gross to me, but I don't care. Weird, but not a sin. I don't fucking care. <laughs> Let people live. I... <laughs> I literally couldn't give a shit. Twitch has just becoming a cesspool for this stuff. Especially in a the past cesspool. three years. Following a pattern I have been seeing online. A mm -hmm. huge increase of OnlyFans models and- Oh no, not OnlyFans models. Dude, she's getting fucking- She's literally turning Catholic in front of your eyes. She's starting to be like, Well, I, I you know, I, 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 I'm gonna walk back all my positions on this. You know. Can't wait for the kink at pride discourse every year. She gets some further and further Christ pilled. And everywhere. And it isn't just my observation. It's a fact. There are many studies that came out that show pornography and pornography addiction increased significantly during the pandemic, especially That's for corn. young people and hasn't decreased since. And the uh, they're using corn as a euphemism for porn because it's a homonym. Homophone? Homonym, not homophone. Wait, it's not. It just rhymes. They just rhyme. Yeah, I'd just be. They have to be spelled the same or sound the same. There, there, and there. Homophone. Anyway, it's homo. Whatever it is. The amount of people making content on OnlyFans yeah. has skyrocketed. Be mm. Oh no. Being locked in our houses absolutely did something to our brains. You used to have to go out of your way to see this stuff, and now it's everywhere. Now compare this to- Uh, she went ahead. You didn't actually have to go out of your way to see porn ever in my life. It was really always quite available. Like, literally, literally when I was a kid, you could you could download full fucking clips you could fucking peruse for hours like they have fucking like porn youtube now is a thing there's multiple porn youtube websites uh but that's those have been things forever right when i was little i just googled porn there you go yeah this is like a 25 year old problem that you're suddenly upset about Oh my god, now they're doing... Now people who aren't out in LA are doing porn? Oh my god. Like, fucking shut up. <laughs> Sometimes people in the Midwest want to bang on camera, alright? How I talked about this issue a few years ago. Yeah. Where I would make fun of people for complaining about <laughs> Yeah, and then, all of a sudden, I have different opinions... For no fucking reason at all. There's no reason to think that I'm fucking compromised. This is like walking into a strip club and being like, get your horny asses out of here. The difference is now, everywhere is the strip club. That's not true. You can log off your phone, Twitch, 
you you don't have to use the platform. You also like I ex- showed earlier when I bring my fucking homepage up. This is not what I experience. Her video is only four days old. Like I'm not experiencing the thoughtery that she thinks that everyone fucking goes through. Crazy. Literally go touch grass. Like, yeah, it's, this is nuts. Just a conservative. It's to the point where even meme accounts on Twitter are being paid to discreetly advertise OnlyFans pages. And you can't even block the accounts that show up as ads. This is Elon's. What You're, you're mad at X? Everyone got this fucking ad, by the way. You're mad at X. Not on a fucking Twitch thoughts. What the fuck? This isn't. I was told, right? Am I, am I tripping? I tweeted. I tweeted like, dude, I'm just getting all porn ads today on fucking on Twitter. This is a while back. Let me see if I can find it. You guys said this is a, it's an actual porn star, right? Here we go. Wait. Well, here's the here's me tweeting it, but fuck. Next to a Dave picture. Is it, how come you can't just go to the fucking tweet, dude? Why is it like this? So I cl- I can click on the picture, but you can't go to the tweet from that. Anyway, anyway, uh, we were doing it. Whoever this is, there was a bunch of there was a bunch of fucking accounts doing this ad. There were a bunch of first name, bunch of numbers, and it was just it's all connected. Yeah, it's all connected to fucking Elon lost all his advertisers, and then. Only OnlyFans was left even after he went on a crusade against OnlyFans, and OnlyFans hilariously started doing ads for their shit through fucking bots and stuff. Like this is I don't even know if this actually redirects to the porn you're trying to watch on this. I don't even know. I'm not clicking on that shit. It looks like fishing as fuck. <laughs> on Twitter. Great website, Elon. 13 plus, by the way. And anyone who points this out is called a prude or a conservative. You are a prude and a conservative, especially on the issue of sex. Are you kidding me? You are both of those things on this issue. By a long shot. It's been that way for a while. You've been told this. If you have an issue with naked women making softcore on a website full of children, you're the problem. You keep calling it a website full of children. She's like, look, it, it's mostly children. And it was it was 41% under 14, which is, you know, that's 59% adults. Just toss that out there. Also, the children have to, like, if you mark at 18 plus, they have to log in and improve their age. It's whatever, man. <laughs> Why is every time I express conservative views, the response is me getting called a conservative? It's a mystery. How does the overall well-being of society affect you, bigot? Most... Yeah, the overall well-being of society. Explain to me how the well-being of society is made more negative by implied nudity on Twitch. Feel free to make that argument. I'm sure you're very smart and capable of this. Like, explain the harm that befalls young men. Because that's all she's worried about is young men, 13, 14, 15-year-olds, seeing implied nudity. That's the worst thing that can happen. Do you think I can go to Hooters as a teenager? Do you think I can go to the beach? Are women's bodies so fucking sacrosanct? Are they so fucking... uh, Are are they so sinful to look at and gaze upon? Like, relax about your own fucking body, dude. It's weird that you're so uncomfortable. Most of the internet seemed to agree that this Twitch thing was wrong, but there were a lot of people mad at me and others for pointing out the obvious. It's not the obvious, bro. You're a conservative. So we're going to respond to some of those critiques Let's do it. from people who disagree right. on this subject, and then we're going to talk a little more deeply about all of this, because I feel like it's a little deeper than the Twitch thoughts. The Twitch thoughts are just a symptom of a disease. Why doesn't Twitch just make a new 18 plus site? They do this on Twitch because the market is already saturated on actual porn cam sites. They won't stand out. They can find a larger, younger audience on Twitch. What I'm trying to say is, these should be banned. Yeah, man. Uh, you're a fucking misogynist. Yeah, dude. You should be... <laughs> this is... This is fucking disgusting. 
Like it's actually this is actually just misogyny, dude. Just <laughs> Yeah. This is just regular old misogyny. Uh, can you be banned off YouTube for this kind of shit? Like <laughs> I don't know. They ban- They banned Sargon for similar shit. I guess he said slurs, but Okay, so my tweet was a little harsh, but Am I wrong? Yes. Blaming these women for what Twitch allows and calling them f- accomplishes nothing except morally grandstanding that you think you're better than them. So first of all, I am better than them. <laughs> of course. Uh, I am better than them. Yeah. So are you. So is everyone who doesn't make porn on Twitch. And- <laughs> if you don't make porn on Twitch, that's the lowest life form you can be? That's crazy, June. That's actually fucking wild, considering some of the friends that you've had in the past that have been exposed as, like, right-wing fucking, like, pedophiles, as as literally people that threw shit at refugees trying to get on a boat to survive. Literal friends that you've had? Come on, dude. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if we should be swinging this far. And second of all, I know calling them wh- does nothing. I did it because it was funny. These are grown-ass women toying with the T.O. What was the funny part? The funny part is just saying more sexist shit and being a pick-me. Like fucking always. This is the same shit every time. What if I just say sexist shit and then I lampshade about... Fuck off. <sighs> She's just not like any other girls, man. She's totally different than them. Yes, they know She's what better. they're doing is wrong. They know they're walking a fine line. That's why they're She's here better, on bro. Twitch and not on the hundreds of adult websites that exist. Man, uh, so I don't know why you're upset. <laughs> you wouldn't be happy for them to make it off of Twitch. If a parrot, they're so dangerous to you, maybe you should lock yourself in the cave. True. Cry more, little bro, and tell your fellow bros to stop thinking with their dicks. Um, hello, fellow bros. Stop thinking with your dicks. Brace yourself. <laughs> I got him. Uh, but you're, you're guilty of the same problem, like the thinking with your dick thing. Like, immediately, it's like, oh my god. This person is showing, not showing their body, implying that they would show a part of their body. And that makes me upset. The incel's about to lose their minds and act like women are ruining Twitch. Yes, yes, it worked. Lol at the men in these comments admitting they are not attracted to women. I'm sorry you don't like hot women. Maybe work on the internalized misogyny. Yeah, oh yeah, definitely. Nah, sorry. Just glossing over that one? Just glossing over that one. <laughs> okay. Sorry. If you don't like huge oiled up milkers bouncing around on a Twitch stream, I'm just going to assume you hate women. Me too. Do straight men even like women? Fucking true. Oh, you're not sexualizing women? You're not just gooning to every woman you see? Brother, you're literally... S- <sighs> I'm just gooning. This is what we're saying. It's it's not it doesn't have to be a fucking goon fest. You're you are doing the hypersexualization and you're saying what? You what? Like you what? What? Jesus fucking Christ, dude! Literally both sides in it. Like women? Oh, you're not sexualizing women. You're not just gooning to every woman you see. What do you hate women? What are you gay? How did they manage to reverse engineer being sexist? into not going awooga awooga honk honk every time they see a woman bro that is not what's happening here you're doing awooga awooga and then saying and that's bad to offer the awooga to twitch is bad you are awooging the rest of us literally do not care i i don't awooga <laughs> I refuse the woog. I don't care. I am not. I. I am. I'm a grown ass man. I am not turned on by implied nudity. It doesn't turn me on. This person is not directing this toward me. I'm not in her fucking thoughts. This isn't for me. This does not turn me on. If it turns 
you on, that's okay. You can be turned on by implied nudity. The take that most people have is, who cares? Let her live. Incredible. Huge fan of these mammoth milkers, but I do worry about the dynamic and weirdness of women who are essentially sex workers interacting with and asking for donations from chat on a site largely used by young men. Feels like a race to the bottom. Disagree. Don't care. Big disagree. He also said something recently. Oh, fuck. What was it? It was a different topic. I disagree with that, too. Uh, I actually totally disagree. Uh, Voosh L. Woof. Uh, yeah, I don't care. Uh, feels like a race to the bottom. Only if you consider uh, female sexual liberation racing towards the bottom. Uh, normalizing women with uh, implied nudity or even just their shirts off. Like, we sexualize it because we have, like... It's like the burqa paradox, dude. Like, they're fucking attracted to ankles like crazy because the burqa only offers a little glimpse, right? Uh, same shit here. Um, we're so, you know, I like milkies. I like boobies, okay? However, it's not a thing. Like, Sarah can walk around. I'm very sexually attracted to Sarah, my partner, if you're, not, if you're new here. Uh, and she walks around with her shirt off sometimes. Um, and it's not always like a, ooh, 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 got a hump, got a hump, you know, and she's got nice, nice ones. I like them like, and other people, like you could just, you could just be a random person. It wouldn't bother me at all. Uh, I think people can, I don't know. It can't always be comfortable to have to be fucking hiding your body all the fucking time and be constantly sexualized all the time. And this, this is part of it. This is part of it. Worry about the donations from young men. I'm not. I actually don't care. Why don't we teach these young men to have better relationships with their sexuality? Okay? It is not women's fault for being hot or something and turning on Twitch stream. It's not, actually. Feels like a race to the bottom. Feels like a race to the fucking tippy top, dude. Tippy top. When Vosh and I, the people who talk about f***ing Pokemon, are saying things have gotten weird... I think that's proof that things have gotten weird. As a I also smash your past. Worker, I agreed. I dislike the blurring of adult and all ages platforms like Twitch and TikTok, but I also don't know what men expected when it's so successful either. I don't know, I guess men expected women not to get borderline naked on a website occupied with children? Maybe. Chew. They're the ones paying for it. Shoo. Shoo and head. They're the ones paying for it. I don't know how you can have your go cake and eat it too on this one. The men are the problem in this. <laughs> the men are the problem. Uh, women simply streaming in. If, like, can I take my shirt off and have my nipples off camera? Can I take my shirt off and have my nipples off camera? As a man, of course, right? I don't think anyone would care. People be like, that guy doesn't have his shirt on. All right, cool. That guy is so sexy. You'd be allowed to show nip. I know I can show nip, but I'm just saying. Uh, do it and find out. Um... How are 14-year-olds donating? They're not. This isn't a thing. Uh you just have to you just have to worry about other shit, man. The bar is really not that high. There is a market for literally everything. That doesn't make literally everything excusable. If you give your kid unrestricted access to the internet, that's a you problem. Parents have to take some level of responsibility over their child's online content consumption. So I agree with this. Of course I agree with this. Parents should absolutely be monitoring what their kids are looking at online. The issue is Twitch is advertised as a website for them. It is advertised for users 12 and up. So I don't feel like Twitch advertises to kids specifically. <laughs> I actually think it advertises to millennials specifically. <laughs> <laughs> as far as the uh as far as the age 
is concerned. I mean, most streams are accessible on Twitch to teenagers for sure. You can put an 18 plus tag. Like we have, we smoke weed here. So I think I have an 18 plus tag on there, which is fine. I don't care. You've never seen kids in the ads. Yeah. I literally imagine a kid sitting through this. Yeah. They don't give a fuck. I've never been in a chat that was mostly kids. Go. Cool. Site so literally insta bans you until you send ID if you say you're under 18. The Twitch will insta ban you if you say you're under 13. I didn't know that. Amazing. So just a lie? Another lie from shoe on head? No fucking way. Parents will naturally assume that the website doesn't feature like this. I think that's a pretty reasonable assumption to make. Like I don't have to sit and watch Nick Jr. constantly with a 10 year old. Dude, imagine if I took the 18 plus off. I We have 181 without that. We have 181 without that. I don't even know how to undo that. I don't even know how to... Clips, followers only, subscriber, featured clips. Channels you can make. No. Damn it. Squad stream. Yeah, dude, I can't even find where... Where I keep that moderation, maybe. I actually don't even know where I'd keep eighteen, the eighteen plus. Moderation tools, pin message, yeah. Half his chat couldn't chat anymore. Nice. On OBS, it's part of the stream information tab. Stream manager toggle for drug use. There's no toggle for drug use on the stream manager. Uh, <clears throat> but a corn cow. Yeah. Just in case Peppa Pig decides to go girls gone wild, it's safe to assume that is not going to happen. So yes, you should be monitoring what your kids are doing online, but this isn't like a kid going onto an 18 plus website. This is a kid going on a website that is advertised for them, that is made for them. Big so disagree. this is in big part the website's problem. A lot of people were saying that the solution to this would be making Twitch 18 plus, which I agree makes perfect sense to do. Uh, I turned it on, Brooke, yeah. But the thing is, Twitch won't make it 18 plus because that's what drives away advertisers. Go. Lots of advertisers won't advertise. Here's live proof of it saying it's not for kids, literally for teens and adults. How I accidentally got hundreds of my viewers banned from Twitch. One of my viewers keeps getting banned because he types that he's 12. And if you're under the age of 13 on Twitch, you're banned. What happens if I just set up like a giveaway and yeah. you make the keyword like I'm 12? <laughs> All right, chat, if you type the words I'm 12. You can participate in oh the Oh my god, don't do this. Giveaway. There we go. Got don't some do happy this. contestants in here. Wait, do you think you're gonna like, do a huge ban wave? Lots of people are banned. Oh my god, I didn't think it was real. I doubted. We <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> we fucked up bad. We <laughs> fucked up bad. Did they get banned for saying we I'm 12? We fucked up bad. <laughs> I got banned after two minutes. They didn't jump like flies. Wait, how many are banned? You are have to only... send your ID to Twitch. <laughs> this I'm is funny so because they're sorry. not actually the giveaway wasn't a scam dude so someone just got his hundred dollar uh, rp let's go <coughs> i'll even link... sacrifice like 300 people for that i hope you enjoy it bro how i am hell yeah dude it's masa yashi yoshi masa masa yoshi never seen that so uh anyway twitch obviously has moderation in charge they literally ban you if you say that in chat. Jesus Christ. <clears throat> so, a, a very very good evidence in lack of support for uh, Shoe on Head here. Hilarious. on websites that are 18 plus it's too risky it's bad for their brand and amazon the owner of twitch needs more money of course same reason twitter isn't being made 18 plus because at the end of the day the richest men in the world need more money and apparently mm -hmm. twitch is going bankrupt no wonder they want to keep the twitch thoughts on the platform also i didn't even know they'll keep going bankrupt that twitter was only 13 plus until embarrassingly recently elon 
I beg of you, either make Twitter 18 plus or get rid of the porn. I personally think the former is the better idea because I'm tired of seeing unsolicited opinions of minors on the internet and I just don't get tired of seeing images of strangers but pop up on my Twitter timeline while I'm scrolling in public. Hmm. Why are we following accounts that post buttholes? If you don't want to see butthole, don't follow the butthole accounts. I, on the other hand, am fine with seeing buttholes. The occasional butthole is totally fine. Not, a, not opposed. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Checking for buttholes in my DMs. Ooh, hardly any right now. That's too bad. Always a joy. But think of the children aside, Twitch is just not a website for this. There are thousands of other websites for this. There are so, so many. So why do these women have to do this on a website not for this? Hmm. Well, June, it is for this. Uh, it's literally for whatever you want. Uh, you're screaming into the fucking ether, man. Well, it's simple. Because the websites that are made for this stuff are already oversaturated. The market is full and basically these mids are not going to stand out on a dirty webcam site where there's thousands of other people doing exactly what they're doing. But when there's only a few dozen on Twitch doing it, they're more likely to stand out, get more followers, make more money, and attract an audience that wouldn't normally go on those other sites. That's not true. These people are absolute. If you buy OnlyFans content, the odds that you also peruse porn websites seems pretty high to me. Or at least have in the past, right? She called them these mids? Wow. But she'll lampshade later and say, as a mid, I can say that. Right? She'll be like, don't worry. I can, I can do misogynist things if I also turn inward. Maybe not. She did say she was better than them. Okay, grown woman with 15-year-old hot topic wig wing makeup. Well, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, guys. <laughs> you're saying you're saying if she starts to shame other people's looks, you're gonna shame her looks? What is that about? Uh it does it does look like a uh a cheaply made hot topic situation. I could be wrong. Looks looks a little little crispy. Unfortunately, in this case, a much younger audience. I remember in like 2008 or so, I did a fan meetup and most of the people that came were in their 20s, in college, in their 30s. But there were like a few 12, 13 year olds, 15 year olds with their parents. And I was just like, oh, oh no. Like it just didn't even occur to me that people that young would be watching my content or- Dude, her anecdotal evidence is that she was too dumb to realize that when she was in her early 20s, people around her age group would also watch her stuff. <sighs> how is that possible? How do you not have some fucking understanding of it? She's just... How can Shuan Head's defense of herself always be, I'm really stupid? Oh, I was just really dumb. Can't blame me for any of the dumb shit. Because I was always just dumb. I don't get it. We're interested in my content. But just the fact that people... <laughs> Makeup is a decision. True. That age knew about me was so scary. So I just have to wonder, like, how are these people not feeling that way? Like, I didn't purposely go out of my way to attract that audience. Mm -hmm. But these people are... They're not. Being a woman who is hot on the internet does not automatically mean that you are intentionally drawing the attention of young men. As a man who was a young man once and who likes women, we're attracted to women. Some of us, apparently, really like implied nudity, probably due to hang-ups they have about actually witnessing regular nudity. But maybe that's just sort of a void. Who cares? I, go look at titties if you want. There's nothing. Look, is this controversial? Okay. When you are a teenager, and I was a teenager, it is okay to express your sexuality. It is better to express your sexuality away from people that could be harmed by your good, your bad sexual uh, 
you know, when you're trying to figure it out, there's not going to be a lot of sexual communication going on from a 13, 14, 15 year old American kid. I have no, I do not care if a PG 13 situation like draws the attention of the occasional 15 year old. They're being bankrolled by fucking middle aged guys on their lunch breaks. Okay. These are IT guys. These are coders. They have too much fucking money and disposable income. The occasional 15-year-old seeing implied nudity is not the end of the world. Holy shit. I saw way fucking worse. They're going to see way fucking worse. You, we got to stop being so sensitive about these kids being exposed to just reality. I'm fine if you're like, hey, don't streamers don't fucking groom your, your occasional 15-year-old viewer. Th please. Sure, we can keep them at higher standards. Simply being a hottie is not grooming. Simply being a hottie is just existing. Having implied nudity is fine. It is not harmful to anyone. Fuck you, dude. It's so weird to imply that this is harmful for people. I do not think that female forms are inherently sexual. Even when they're being, like, provocative, right? Even... Because I would agree that there is some provocation involved with the implied nudity. I don't think that's I don't think that's like crossing a line. I don't care. It's crazy. She's not she's not fucking riding a fuck robot or whatever. One of those I don't know what they're called. Fucking Yeah. Like going out of their way to attract that audience if they happening. weren't they wouldn't be doing it on this website they would be doing it on the websites this stuff is uh argonian bum i don't know what that is i'm 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 a normie talk to me like i'm a normie that grew up in the countryside in the woods Four. What makes it possibly even grosser is it. the fact that Twitch uses in-game money, meaning a kid could use their parents' money to buy Twitch bits or whatever the f and then use those Twitch bits in order to get these women to interact with them and to shake their t***s and their parents would never know. Bro, that is just not how it's fucking working. You think, you think their parents are never going to know multiple fucking transactions for Twitch bits? You think a boomer is, is going to look at their thing and, and look over the Twitch interactive bits donations to titty streamer 420 30 times? You don't think they're going to notice that? It's crazy, dude. In game. Yeah, that's right. Many people suspect this is the reason Twitch made that change, but. Yeah, we had rotten.com when I was a kid. I didn't do Reddit. We had, uh, yeah, rotten.com. And uh, there was another one. What the fuck was it called? It was like, that's fucked up or something. I don't, know. I don't know. It does line up with Twitch's MO. They will do anything to keep these women on their platform. They are their cash cow. They bring in the big bucks. After all, there is a market for this. Men. Takes two to tango. Most of these bitches would be broke if it wasn't for your coomer asses. Oh wow, sex workers sex working under capitalism? How crazy. Sure. Every man in this comment section has mommy issues and gets no actions. Y'all mad she's making more money with less effort. Finding this tool makes you a pervert. Go b to your dead mom. Ooh. Smartest Twitter user. Sounds like probably making fun of a 13 year old in that post. You're just mad you can't manipulate a following in the same fashion. Granted, I don't condone it, but you're coming off as salty as a group of people found a loophole around the TOS and are abusing it. Frankly, these women should be praised for thinking outside the box and pandering to an audience that isn't oversaturated. You can't exactly criticize them for being smart enough to That's know a hustler which outlet right there. has a higher chance of yielding income. That, that person's on the fucking grind set right there. What do you mean? It takes two seconds to take off my shirt. Literally any woman in the world can do this, but most don't because making on a website mostly populated by minors is gross and insane. Hmm. Uh, you can take your shirt off at any point. This is what we're talking about. Like, it's, you contradict yourself. Like, you're saying, like, it's no big deal that women can be nude at any point. It literally takes no work. But also, it's so fucking gross. Yeah, this is just, this is just wrong. Mostly is, well, you know, 41%. I'm gonna be honest, I thought you were a dude. 
<laughs> Funny you shame the women when it's clearly women just taking advantage of the system we live under, capitalism. Yet you call yourself a socialist? A lot of issues do come down to capitalism, but as we do so often with other things, you can criticize people exploiting this system and exploiting the loopholes in this system. This is a, no, this is not one of those situations. Nah, this is an exploitation. That's actually stupid. Exploitation is a very different thing. We don't just hand wave away politicians buying stock. We don't just hand- Literally we do. What? Neighbors having one. Neighbors on another one, dude. Wave away Jeff Bezos making his employees pee in bottles just because we live under capitalism and it is what it is. No. Yes, ultimately, I guess it's a capitalism issue. They fucking actually hand wave the shit constantly, man. And instead you're talking about people trying to make money on Twitch by having implied nudity. Nuts. Nuts stuff to me. It's a TOS issue, but you'd never apply this standard to people marketing gambling or crypto scams on Twitch, which is- That's fucking bullshit, actually? You could tell she's not part of any lefty communities because she doesn't know what we talk about. Like, I'm a socialist, but I don't talk to any socialists, I don't spend any time with them, I don't have any fucking of the same opinions as any socialist. It's socialism in name only, you just want healthcare? <laughs> Nuts, dude. Yeah, so gambling and crypto scams are worse than implied nudity on Twitch by a long shot. That is because we, 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 you know, that that's a, an addictive fucking problem. Like, are you going to say that, like, you can get addicted to implied nudity on Twitch? Because that'd be hilarious. It'd be like, oh, porn addiction. I don't know, brother. She was literally doing the thing, yeah just funny because like a year ago there was a there was like a bunch of gambling drama on twitch and one mm -hmm. of the biggest critiques people had was there are children on this site you're basically selling gambling to children so how is this any different it's amazing that just because gambling is worse than a woman's body And only because gambling wouldn't be that big of a deal except that we commodify survival necessities and so some people's living situations get made worse because of the addictive nature of gambling. Right? Yeah. Uh, it's, it's, lit, it's not nudity. It is implied nudity. Um, yeah. Because they're women suddenly they get a pass and if you call it out you are slut shaming or a pick me you are both of those things and uh, you're coping of course oh look queen pick me is at it again putting down other women yep she is i'm not like other girls personified yep. okay this insult normally doesn't work but it especially doesn't work here it literally does here you even said it yourself at the beginning of the fucking video. It especially doesn't work unless, uh, well, I'm literally doing it in the video that I'm talking about and uh, doing the exact action that a pick me is described as doing. Now, nah, this is you to a T, bro. You, you got you got typecast in this one. Because I am like other girls. Most women, in fact, do not make on Twitch. It's incredible how criticism of even like a single woman is seen as some personal betrayal and the only reason you would do so is male attention. Bro. It's crazy how you don't see that you are throwing a fit about female bodies in PG-13 settings. 13, by the way. PG-13. What's it stand for? In PG-13 settings, you are made upset by female bodies and calling them whores and thoughts and stuff like that. And 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 it, making it a, their work, their, uh, you know, their stream or whatever, akin to Jeff Bezos' labor violations of making people pee in bottles or something. As if, as if uh, showing your tits or implying that you have tits to show is somehow more demeaning than being forced to piss in a bottle at work uh, on a like 14 hour shift. It's a privilege, man. 
I never understood why I need to feel some sort of like loyalty to complete strangers just because we were born the same sex. I don't know you bitches. I don't support all of you. Some of you were dumb. Like as if these kids don't have access to porn at the tips of their fingertips. Trust me, if they want- Friend of the show? Sandy based? They will get it. There aren't any toddlers on Twitch as far as I'm aware. It's 13 plus. Yep. Do Americans think children will be traumatized by seeing naked women? Do they not realize those same kids can and do simply go to porn sites to jerk off? Correct. Uh, Shu, I hate to tell you this, but the average kid is seeing way worse stuff online all the time. Uh, yeah, that's... That's not a good thing. Let's Bro. It's crazy the things these people will normalize. <laughs> it's actually crazy the thing that they 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 want they want stuff like you know just rampant violence that's fine to be normalized, right? Like kids kids can go watch uh, whatever the fuck they want. Kids can play video games where they stab people to smithereens, uh, and murder people and uh, tie feminists up with lassos and drag them behind horses, or whatever they were doing, and um. Although Arthur himself is based. Oh, dude, another banger? Nice. Good timing. Good timing of neighbor. Pearl clutching on the bingo. Let's be real. This ain't nothing to kids nowadays. I grew up with the internet as a kid mm -hmm. slash teen and was able to find stuff back in 2002. Where now it's literally so easy to find stuff and most teens have phones. I don't think they would be phased by this content. Fucking true. Again, that is a bad thing. No, you're a boomer. It's fine, actually, to not be conservative on sexual issues. It's fine to not be a conservative on this. Uh, this is PG-13 content. I have no fucking problem with it. How many more times do we have to say this? Maybe it shouldn't be that way. I hate this whole, well, that's just the way things are attitude. That's how you get people coming up with these head-ass ideas, like making four kids. Dude, slippery sloping slippery sloping this into a totally different two-year-old tweet dude fucking classic shoe on head some random fucking <laughs> some random tweet that isn't attached to this discourse whatsoever now we're gonna slippery slope argument this shit holy fucking shit what a dishonest loser bro because kids will find anyway there were so many replies to me that Crazy. were like um i was 22 like th fucking three-year-old tweet eat shit dude watching hardcore Go. since i was hey guys remember this 22 like tweet i covered two years ago and, <laughs> and i turned out fine your twitter likes are public sir no you didn't you don't see a problem with this because you are extremely desensitized and honestly so am i haha <laughs> except you're not obviously you're triggered it's desensitized uh, there's a fucking, dude, that car, um, it's fine to be desensitized to over-sexualizing people's bodies. We could just, we could just, like, under-sexualize people's bodies. If you normalized people's bodies being, you know, not on display all the time, but, like, if you're not freaking out every time someone shows a titty or something, no one will care. We still find people attractive, but it's because you make it salacious that it becomes things for people, right? Like, you go, oh, you can't do that. And people are like, oh, now I'm very interested, almost fixated on this thing I can't do. It's weird. Yeah. I don't, I mean, women don't have to wear shirts all the time. And it doesn't have to be sexual when they don't. I, I don't know how to, like, you should be able to wear a, sh a shirt or not wear a shirt. You should be able to just do whatever you want. I don't care. I'm no swerf. I'm no swerker, exclusionary, radical feminist. I disagree. Because first of all, I'm not a feminist. It's like our culture <laughs> has become so overly sexual that it's not even sexual anymore. Our culture is just becoming desensitized to sex. It isn't. You're being overly sensitive to sex right now. Right now. And that's not a good thing. I guess I just miss the days of tasteful thigh. Because of this oversaturation, many in Gen Z are apparently craving normal relationships on the big screen. Everyone craves this. Nobody wants fucking random sex scenes for no reason. 
Everybody wants this. Everyone wants better written characters and more reality. No more no more bullshit all the time. Yeah, man. It's good. I'm fine with seeing some nudity every once in a while or a sex scene, but like most of the time they're forced. If the sex scene is for the story and it has something to do with like the passion these two people have or like, you know, you can act while you're doing a sex like I don't know. I think of I don't know. I'm trying to think of the best sex scenes, but I don't really log them like that in my brain. I can't think of a single sex scene because I'm trying to think of any of them. Yeah, I don't know. But <laughs> uh, what's her issue with kids wanting to see less sex? Doesn't that not support her goal? Right. So now she's stating they want less sex, but actually they're seeking it out on Twitch when really obviously it's like fucking millennials. They're bored of seeing sex everywhere. To them, the money. sex has been available one Google click away. Since How do you fucking... She has contradicted herself like four times in this video. They were like four years old and it's having really negative outcomes. Like the amount of grown ass millennials calling Gen Zers prudes and puritines is another word I saw. It's just really fucking weird. Like, I'm sorry, we're all addicted gooners. Maybe the younger generation is trying to tell us something. Yeah, man, this is weird. Uh, So there are some puritines, I guess is a term now. I've never really said that. Um. There are some, but these are all right-wing, like, Christo-fascist kiddos that have been, uh, you know, radicalized in Fortnite lobbies. <laughs> and and they're calling, they're just calling kids, they're just calling women whores, man. They're, just, they're doing the same thing you're doing, which you like, of course. You think slut-shaming is good. Someone called me a prude over this. Me. Yeah, you. You are a prude. It's crazy. It's crazy that she thinks she's like... Just kinky or something dude <laughs> what just like with video games when i was a kid boys are mad because girls are playing in a space they've deemed theirs and are kicking their asses at it so first of all girls have already been in these spaces playing video games for years there was no issue so it's kind of weird to be like sorry we're kicking your asses boys like kicking their asses at what being naked on camera be being naked on camera in front of minors i just think it's Saying it's naked on camera in front of minors is crazy, dude. <laughs> How can I be approved when I make jokes about balls sometimes? Yeah, it's fucking crazy. No one's naked. I don't care if they were naked. We can steal man it, I guess, but they're not showing anything. It's PG-13. I could be naked. I could, I could, you, you have no idea. I could have been wearing no pants this whole fucking time. I am wearing shorts, but if I wasn't. Bro, are you just blasting it into my window? Is that what we're doing? Fuck yeah. You just like literally right here? That's crazy, man. Do it, coward. Cob out. It's interesting and ironic how like 10 years ago, these same people were fighting to keep civilized women out of video games. And now they are fighting to keep civilized women <laughs> on Twitch, a website for video games. I don't understand what you're talking about. Why do you think that people were fighting for non sexual? I thought Jake was fucking That's crazy. Hot. Thank you, Coast Kid Robbie, for 250 in this one with 134. Uh, bro, is she turning it up? Could she just hear me? Uh, having a Tradcath Nazi boyfriend who literally thinks you're subhuman isn't kinky, June. It's just sad. Oof. It is pretty. It is pretty much just sad. Absolutely. Gotta, sometimes you just gotta sometimes you just gotta have have a little sesh gotta get the R&B out have a good cry in your car or something maybe I don't know wish you would do it a little bit is Jake's neighbor subbed? I don't know 72% of Twitch users are 18 to 34 24% are 35 plus less than 4% Let's steal a man and Margaret. There are loads of 13-year-olds on Twitch. In Scotland, they have sex education, and with luck, their parents will have prepared them for this by 12, so they know what sex is. Right. 
It has come full circle. <sighs> if only Anita was here to see it. Also, imagine flipping the genders in your stupid fake fan fiction. Imagine a grown ass man coming into like a female space. I don't know, what's a female space? The Stanley Cup fandom. Those f***ing cups. Imagine a man coming into the fandom of these f***ing cups, dangling his ding dong around, and people are like, can you stop? That's really weird. And he's just like, oh wow, you just hate men. <laughs> like uh, so if it was men on the platform uh, doing PG-13 things for money, uh, other sex workers would applaud it and they'd be like, yes, yes, king. Uh, get it. You know what I mean? Especially because there's not a lot of it, and I feel like it would stand out if it was done tastefully. Some of the stuff that men do is just creepy. That's why. I mean, honestly. <clears throat> I mean, there's some women that do creepy shit, too, and they're called out, you know? But, like, usually it's, like, you know, men make sexual content, cool. and they, like, fucking... It's that guy that, like, licks the cupcakes. He's all... <laughs> on the cupcakes? No one wants that. Like, like fucking two finger scoops and frosting and go like no one wants that it's not sexy uh literally one step away from using the exact same women same hypothetical against trans women yeah i mean anyway uh who cares like f <laughs> you go away these women aren't stealing anything from the men if anything they're stealing from the women because the more what? twitch becomes a website for this the more this shit rises to the top and the more normal streamers especially women who don't do this sink to the bottom uh not true not true um you could do both <laughs> it's totally fine uh women that are like sex workers do not hurt the higher ability of other women um and if they do that's that's a you thing that you have to work on um <laughs> or in this case the uh patron ability uh i still will like to watch girl streamer a if girl streamer b has titties or something i don't know it's just so stupid it's the most republican mindset i've ever heard it, it's not backed by any sort of like science or anything it's conjecture uh, it's it's literally just like, well, you know, uh, the titties are going to be way more popular than uh, this uh, nice lady with fully clothed RPing on GTA servers. It's like, not necessarily, bro. And then it's going to be different people. Like, there are more than just some people on here. You can have a, a diverse set of content. I don't mind. I have no problem with this whatsoever. If I was a female, wait, I am a female. If I was a female gamer, if I was a female gamer grinding my ass off in this male dominated space, the same way a lot of men do and seeing what female content rises to the top of this website, uh -huh. I would be pretty demoralized. Look anywhere. Why? What? There, there, this content is on YouTube where you work. Why would you be demoralized by that? That's so fucking weird. I, I don't understand people looking for sexy titty streams aren't watching shoe on head videos. Shoe on head videos are for right wing simps. And for us, the pain, the pain enjoyers. We're just here to uh, uh, wallow in the pain of the right wingers and their content. Are not just Twitch. <clears throat> Sex work starts to appear like the only successful avenue a woman can go down. It doesn't actually, but isn't it a little bit of an indictment on the system in general that sex work seems to be a good option? Did you know that when nations decline in and their economic stability becomes higher and higher, the increase in number of women that choose sex work also goes with that? So if you're opposed to sex work, what you could do... <laughs> What you could do is uh, advocate for better systems in general. Uh, but instead we advocate for puritanical social systems, which is pretty strange. Hmm. In 2014, there was a lot of talk about... I did say I would sew a little titty. Wait, what am I... I'm supposed to show titty? Jake refused to show titty. Yeah, I mean, I, I you know. Wow. Wow. Argonia bum. Oh, it's your birthday and I'm not showing titty? That's crazy. No, 
You think you think just because your birthday you get a birthday titty from me? Wow. It's pretty. <laughs> but Jake, that's harder than being a reactionary grifter. Yeah. Why is Jake showing titty? I was reading chat. I, I Jake canceled for titlessness earlier. Yeah, because I said if I could I could do I could do uh implied nudity and it would be fine, of course. <clears throat> Why does everyone want to see my titties now? Jake won't slut up even a little bit as a treat. Wait, why is there? Hey, why is everybody? So many AF came people came running. Yeah, that's right. They were they were like, what? Titties? Goodness gracious! Harassment towards women online, and my answer would always be like, just trolls, just block them, just ignore them. They're trying to get a rise out of you. Which is still true, but a lot I of I am a little hot. I was thinking about taking the hoodie off, and then I said titties, and then I thought maybe I... People aren't <laughs> trolls anymore. They're your followers, your friends, your allies. You see, sexual harassment has evolved. 15 years ago... I thought Jake ago, was fucking hot. <laughs> oh, now it's happening again. It was anonymous trolls entering your chat like, show me your tits. Now it's Jeff he him, politely asking if you're interested Jake was in joining fucking hot. Fans. Are you interested in joining OnlyFans? Who says that? Are you interested in joining OnlyFans? No, they say OnlyFans when? McPlatypus! Get to want to keep your clothes on. Artistic complicity, 134 biddies. Puppo. I thought Jake was fucking hot. And this one also with that many biddies. <laughs> chat is ravenous today. Late night sh horny chat? Yeah, all right. Uh, something happened also. <laughs> we'll do it we'll do it all right are you ready chat you fucking ready dude yeah you want me to lick this mic you want me to lick this fucking mic yeah, they do. They want me to lick this mic real bad. I thought Jake was fucking hot. Darwin, don't look. He just walked in the room. Don't look. He's under 13. He's 8. We did it. We did it. That was a pretty good one. That was a pretty good one. Congratulations, everyone. Congratulations. You know, show me your tits. For money. What is stopping me from taking off my shirt and making a ton of money? So, as you know. Dignity, are you going to say dignity? A father figure. Oh, woof. Oof. Uh, okay. You shouldn't have so much shame over your body. It is also 100% valid if you do not wish to share it with other people. I think if anyone's trying to ask you for nudes without having, like, some kind of rapport with you, if they're just fucking randos, I think that's pretty fucked up, especially if you're a woman. Uh, usually, it, when I when people sexualize me, just like right now, uh, it's usually in jest because I'm a funny ha-ha guy and I'm a man. Um, but sometimes people can cross the line, that's for sure, uh, a thing. I don't think anyone in chat is crossing the line right now. Um, uh, and I don't think I don't think they would either. Uh, you have to win at poker first. Um, as far as this father figure shit, I mean that's just fucking dumb. Obviously, <laughs> just doing just doing more of the uh, misogyny shit. Classic misogyny. You didn't have it. You had daddy issues, and you have you got titties, and you show them to people. It's like, man, to shame to shame that kind of shit is just fucking crazy. Sex work isn't, I took my shirt off in a dimly lit room and took a picture, give me money, please. Like, most sex workers actually pay attention to proper lighting. I mean, yeah, I mean, sex work is work, and it's also, like, you know, people have to, you have to, you have to want to experience the kind of attention you get. Uh, it's definitely a social thing to go through. Uh, and it's worse because of capitalism and this mindset. Uh, sex work could just be fucking normal. And it would be fine. Like, people have sex. It's no not a big deal. People like to have sex. And apparently, people would like to have sex with me right now. <laughs> Which I'm not opposed to. <clears throat> yeah. I'm not uncomfortable, chat. Pretty much nothing. 
Any woman can do this, which is why so many women do this. The pressure is insane for young women nowadays, and I honestly feel bad for them. I do, I feel bad for women. What is this? What is this strange feeling? But from their point of view, from what they've been told, society is going to sexualize them anyway. <laughs> you're a woman online and you don't sexualize yourself? You don't sexualize yourself. Do you see what you're saying? So like, you are saying that being, so sexualizing yourself is simply the act of having a body and and see and people seeing your body that is sexual i disagree i do not think that a simple nude picture of anyone's body is inherently sexual it i i just don't have that view of sexuality if you do that is a weird thing there can be sexual nudes like I don't know, man. This is just this is just wild. You can be, you can just be nude. You don't have to be. You can be. Other people can be. You don't have to worry yourself about it. <laughs> She's better than everyone who does sex work. That's right. She said this. Oh, that's okay. We got AI for that. Also, while I'm editing this, I just noticed that was an ad. That's an ad on Twitter. It says "ad" in the corner. Uh huh. Dystopian. Why not simply dystopian? <laughs> the dystopia is capitalism. Please take the power back and make money off the inevitable. It's getting weird out there. Men and women are being pushed and pulled in so many different directions. Women are being sold this idea that they should be independent girl bosses who don't need no man. They what the fuck, dude? To, to argue that that is invalid is crazy. Like, you can be an independent woman who don't need no man meme. Uh, but, like, the, the spirit of that is specifically to not have to rely upon a man for independence. You actually don't need that. Uh, you don't need to... The, I mean, heteronormer, heteronormativity aside, uh, you know, it's, it's just a patriarchal mindset, man. This is what it's about. And so, like, when the left says this... It's not highlighting OnlyFans people. Like, OnlyFans people are not necessarily, like, making a lot of money. They're not necessarily gaining independence because of this. Uh, but it is something that they can do to try to supplement their income, and a lot of people are choosing to do so in financial hardship. But, like, to vilify them when they're not the problem is the problem. You know what I mean? Like, this is, you say you're a big socialist or whatever. Like, this is lack of class consciousness, lack of solidarity. Uh, and obviously, like, a lack of sexual, like, education on the topic. It's so clear she's uptight about this kind of shit. Every time sex comes up, it's a, it's a, you know, she gets deeply embarrassed about shit. Uh, she pretends not to be. She, she virtue signals in the ways of, like, oh, that's indecent to do this or that, whatever thing she says she wouldn't do. Crazy, man. And if they want to make the choice to be sex workers, that's their choice. And I consider myself socially libertarian, mm -hmm. so I'm all for personal choice. But how much of this really is personal choice? We're going to talk about... <laughs> okay. So we're going to talk about the cons consent under capitalism? Dope. <laughs> I work five days out of the week, 40 hours a week, okay? Uh -huh. I do not make enough to live on my own. I would not make enough to pay rent, water, electric, and eat. When are things going to go back to where you can work and support your family without f***ing stressing out? I can't do this anymore. Like, I just got a good job. I start in September, but even with that job, I still can't do shit. I can't buy anything. I can't afford the rent these days. Like, Yeah, man. I'm, I'm just, I'm... I'm just feeling so much despair, and I know I'm normally, like, really, really positive, but... The tone of this sounds like we're making fun of them. I'm just, like, how is everyone else, and are you okay? Because the answer's probably no. We're going to just start an OnlyFans. In 48 hours, how much money did you make? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Yeah, I don't know why we're do playing sad music to this. Fuck it. You kidding me? They're going to commodify every aspect of our lives. Get your bag. Don't care. 
if you are comfortable with this, there is no fucking problem with it at all. Amaranth gets a lot of hate. I have never, I maybe have watched 30 seconds of her streams and it's only over the clips and shit that are shared. Like, I couldn't care less, man. What's the point here? A million and 48 hours BS? I mean, it happens. She probably had like an Instagram following or something. <clears throat> 47 million to show tits and ass. Why wasn't I born a girl? Their lives are on rookie. I wish I was a girl to make easy money like that. Women now we're reading these out loud. Fascinating. And have it so easy. It's not even funny. There is a lie perpetuated by people on the internet that OnlyFans is this get rich quick scheme. But that couldn't be further from the truth. Agreed. The average woman on OnlyFans only makes $180 a month. And yeah. that's average. Most are making way less than that. Yes. That's the same for every one of these platforms, Twitch included. Like, it is absolutely the case that, like, you said the saturation problem. They're moving over to Twitch because of saturation problem or something. Uh, I mean, it just is what it is. Some people have more or less visibility. The content will be marketed different. And some people have, you know, that also has, like, you know, reach things. It deals with usually only fans people promote on other platforms. And so that has to, you know, you have to be able to do that. Uh, it is a skill. Some people get lucky. Still a bonus of 180 a month. Yeah, as and, and of course to shoe on head who makes a lot more than that. She's like, oh, I'm dropping the bucket. Who cares? It's not a lot. And like imagine imagine making 180 dollars an extra a month, right? Just just for showing your your ape body. And if you're not that attached to sexual expression in the way that a lot of these uh, East Coast, uh, you know. <laughs> Uh, these guys are Catholic coded as fuck. I don't know if she is Catholic, but I would be shocked to find that she wasn't uh, or very similar. You know, uh, it, it, you know, you have a lot of this, a lot of this repression, man. Obviously it happens more than just the East coast, but like, this is what she's experiencing. It's just, man, you see it a lot. Yeah. It's supplemental income. Who cares? But this get rich quick lie is not being sold by only random people on the internet. Mm -hmm. It's also being sold by OnlyFans itself. Kiss that 99 cent ramen goodbye and say hello to endless opportunities on OnlyFans. This is just the 2023 version of, hey lady, I see you're having financial problems. Say, can you dance? I have a couple of friends who are pretty fa Yeah, yeah. So you can also strip, uh, stripping. The problem with stripping is the business model of stripping is deeply exploitative. And OnlyFans is less exploitative. Like, this is what's happening, right? Women are being able to be their own employers and choose their work hours and choose the people they work with and be able to still do sex work. Except, you know, now it's with fucking peers instead of, you know, not necessarily doing full-service sex work to just random people. Well, some of them still do that. Although most, most OnlyFans uh, content creators are not full-service sex workers. She's wearing that particular dress as a hit to her own Sims though. Of course. She she always wears the like Lolita fashion shit. Which I have no problem with, but it's like, you know. How can you how can you say that like doing the stuff that's evocative of the you know, like I'm I'm a I'm just an oo small bean and then like you know, being upset when people who are uwu small beans are like, yeah, I like stuff. We also need legal prostitution so people can provide services in a safe environment. I agree. I absolutely agree. I mean, obviously, you know, I'm a leftist. You you meet sex workers over the course of time, especially through like Twitter and stuff, uh, because a lot of a lot of uh, sex workers are lefties. Can you believe it? Uh, a lot of them are based because they, you know, a lot of class solidarity there, and. Uh, yeah, I mean, I know a lot of a lot of sex workers that I moots with or whatever that, uh, you know, would would very much benefit from a regulated space. But it needs to be, you know, it can't be. <laughs> they have to have their agency. I think they should own the means, of course. So uh, I don't want a corporation to have control of prostitution. I want, um, you know co-ops <laughs> essentially uh so yeah i wouldn't i wouldn't uh, under this corptocracy i don't know if it's actually would even be a good thing i guess it would be good to it would be an immediate material benefit to the sex workers right now but um i don't know if it would in the long run be any better than 
putting them in Amazon or something. I don't know. The the cor- the corporations make me skeeve out about the idea of corporatized sex work, but yeah. Uh, I do like this independent rise in sex work, though. Like, I am fine. Fa- I mean, I like it. I I don't have a single subscription to OnlyFans. I am friends with people who have OnlyFans. I date an OnlyFanser. Uh, I'm I'm actually uh, verified on OnlyFans, though I don't have any content on there. I'm verified, though. The hog is verified, ready to go. <laughs> uh, I guess technically that means I'm open for collabs. <laughs> collabs. Call it a collab. It'll be fine. Uh, not even Sarah. What do you mean? No, I have. We. I mean, we've fucked obviously many times, but uh, we haven't filmed it famous OnlyFans model. And they've disclosed to me that allegedly people who work for OnlyFans have approached them telling them to post about how much money they made or show off expensive things they bought with money they made by being an OnlyFans model. Uh oh. We're we're intersecting not with the lefties but with the liberal capitalists. Let's go! My corn is so moist that it's actually dripping. <clears throat> we have Argonian bum. We have. I understand that this could be upsetting for some of you. You're missing out. I'm not sub to Sarah, no. I don't. Th- I mean, I haven't used the account. I don't even have the app on my phone. I don't think. Do I have OnlyFans on my phone? No. Like I had it for a minute, dude. TikTok needs to. I'm turning off all notifications. Holy shit! Off. I don't know. Notifications. Stop. No, no, no. Don't play fucking something. Turn the notifications off. Oh, fuck you. Why does it take me into this? Oh, no. Activity status. No, fucking... How do you shut this? I gotta... So when I click the notification things... DMs. I don't even want to see my DMs on this. Okay. I don't ever use TikTok. It's probably pointless for me to have it. There we go. Save for Dave. There's already a free market for sex. It's called Global Economic Imbalance. Yep. <laughs> Look at this fancy surgery, emergency surgery I bought with my OnlyFans money. Dollar bills. In order to recruit more women to be OnlyFans models. Recruit this them. includes showing off handbags, expensive clothes, makeup, cars, yeah. and even houses. Like, I just bought my first house thanks to OnlyFans. It's disgusting to do this in general, but... It's not disgusting to do this in general. You're a freak, dude. It is not disgusting. <laughs> she keeps saying this shit. Especially disgusting to do this during a housing crisis. It's just evil. It's- you, oh, you mean like flexing wealth? It's disgusting to do this? Being excited that you got a house during the housing crisis is fine, actually. I'm I'm a lefty. What? Why are we upset? What? Dude, I am not going to begrudge a poor person for not having financial stresses because of something they made money on and talking about it. Like, the, obscene wealth isn't buying a house. What? Or having a car or something. Or paying for your surgeries, like you said. What? This is fucking virtue signaling, dude. This is disgusting in a housing crisis to buy a house. (laughs) What are they supposed to do? Fucking rot? I I actually don't care. How am I supposed to hold this against somebody? You bought a house? Hell yeah, dude. It's incredibly, incredibly rare you can make a living doing this. I agree. And I cannot imagine if YouTube sold itself like, tired of being poor? Become a YouTuber. Like... What? Now, why would they do this? Why would OnlyFans manipulate and entice poor, desperate people like this? Why would OnlyFans want more people? Because they get a cut. Wow. You're finding out. You're finding out. Hmm. Hmm. Participating in capitalism? Tough. Uh, Yeah, I'm not going to begrudge these people for having money under capitalism. That's what they're, that they have to have it to live. Like I, can't, I can't fucking opt out of subscribe immediately. Oh, that's why. Of course it is. That's always why. In a way, we are all selling our bodies to labor. We are all 
Whether you work at a fast food place, you're a lawyer, or a YouTuber, uh -huh. you're a whole But I have no solidarity whatsoever. We're all just for capital. Mm -hmm. At the end of the Wow. The day, it's a job. These Twitch girls, these OnlyFan girls, they're getting their bag. Like me, like you, like everyone else. And I guarantee you, a lot of the men who about OnlyFans models would do it instantly if they could. Why are you contradicting yourself? No one- this is buried at the end of your fucking video. What the fuck, dude? How are- what a fucking slimy weasel, dude. Good fucking god. You would all be s**ts. And why wouldn't you? Go to college and go 100k in debt for a useless degree that won't get you a job? Or this? Why wouldn't you break your back and spirit working a nine to five Go. that you absolutely hate and get no satisfaction from or this? Yeah. Time for the classic shoe thing where after 25 minutes of being a trad cath, I pretend to be a progressive classic. We're backpedaling. Why wouldn't you? And that for the modern woman is probably the most black pilling question right now. Why wouldn't you get exploited or exploit yourself? It's not exploiting yourself if you want to do the thing. If you do not want to do the thing, don't do the thing. It's 100% fine to not do this. So fucking silly. Exploit yourself. Have some dignity, ladies. Shut the fuck up. Uh, sex work is entirely dignified, in my opinion. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing gross about doing sex work. You're f Ugh. It's so gross to be a fucking swerf. So is it really the Twitch thoughts fault? Taking advantage of a market to make it in an overwhelmingly male dominated field. Is it really uh -huh. her fault for trying to survive rolling my fucking eyes out of my skull in a society that will abuse, exploit and degrade her anyway? Is it really her fault? Yes. Yes it is. Yeah, just slush shaming, bro. Get off Twitch. It isn't for the end so that was that video i have been wanting to talk about this subject for years now yeah it's a it's a terrible video this might be her most sexist video is this the most sexist thing she's ever done like she literally just slut shamed the entire video like 26 straight minutes of it oh what do you guys think about this do you also feel that desensitization feeling i'm talking about and i'm desensitized but i'm also very sensitive to this Idiot, bro. How old were you when you first found this kind of stuff? Has it affected your life or relationships at all? But how old were you when you first searched porn? Shu asks her uh, audience. Ooh, very sussy. Very sussy, Shu. Who cares about relationships? Who cares about real women when we can have an AI girlfriend? Am I right? Anyway, I will see you guys soon with a new video, possibly about that. New video for Valentine's Day. Okay, bye. Man, why is she such a dummy, dude? Talking to her 100% male audience, right? <laughs> uh, I mean, that was that was a long time to say. Yeah, hey, I'm, I'm a fucking misogynist. I'm a misogynist. I don't like sex workers. I'm mad at them. I'm glad that I'm glad that video is over. I don't think I can take more butt on head. Ooh, nailed.